Hey, what's up everybody? Michael the Ark here. Today we're starting off this Outriders video going to turn in stuff. Ooh, I got the hiccups, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, we're going to turn in some stuff over here. And then we will be heading back out to, I think, potentially the, the final area. I'm not so sure. All right, got a trophy for you. And we're going to get this because it has resistance piercer on it. Um, actually, that's got stand tall on it, but... I don't think it's going to do too much for me. Um, that would... Ooh. Okay, actually, that right there... Uh, if we put Crush Sequence on that, that would be great. So I think we're going to do that. That's really nice, too. All right. We're going to go with that for the extra bullets. Uh, we're going to put crush sequence on that. That'll do nice. All right. This time. Now, trample the weak. Oh my gosh. That's something I absolutely would really, really like to have. Um,. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to go with that. Trample the Weak will be a really good one to have, I think. So let's grab it, and what we'll do, we'll change that out too. And then, uh, so I just got, I believe, some new feet and hands. Um, this has got something on it that I would basically I'll just put it in my uh, I will throw it into the thing to learn it. So let's grab that one. That'll do. All right, that should be the last of that, and we'll see what we get. We should get for the first time completing it. We should get some sort of uh, legendary. So. A new hunting season. I'll come back later. You know where to find. All right. In touch, Hunter. I got a feeling your services are going to be in demand. Oh, yes. We got a chest piece. It has crush sequence on it. Let's see here. We've got the strongest burst and damage absorber. That's got crush sequence on it, which is something that we already would like to have but um power of the stones trimmer when this skill is active allies are given 40 percent weapon damage bonus for eight seconds that would not help me a single bit so i know what i'm going to do and i will go upgrade stuff and then i will come back and uh we'll get on with it All right, we are back out here on the main or on the uh, overworld map, and we have finished everything that can be finished at this point. Uh, if you look, there are two historian that I have not finished, and then there's basically the main story here. I don't know which historian I could be missing. So we'll have to see how that goes, but here we go. We're so close. The signal's coming from just beyond this ridge. Stay on the lookout. You see any movement, run. So we should be in Pax City. Type people. I'm gonna clear the way. It's time for some answers. Uh I was thinking that this was the last area, but there's actually another area, I think, after this, so hmm. 
What do we have here? Zahidi, I found some more writing from Monroy's people. I think we must be approaching their colony. It seems Monroy didn't believe the packs were so peaceful. When their tech started getting fried, he suspected the packs were trying to sabotage him. Then, just as a storm was brewing up, they caught the packs doing one of their obelisk rituals. Did Monroy think the packs were causing the storm? I, uh, thought the same thing when I first saw August in those ruins in the forest. Monroy ordered his soldiers to stop them. It was on that day that Dr. Deer reported. Please, collect all the writing you can find for me. Perhaps we can learn their story. I want to get through this as quickly as I possibly can, but I'm not so sure uh, if I'll be able to do too much more tonight, so... We've got a warlord. We're gonna uh, put this up. I think we took both of them out. I love the boats in this area. All right. After the first big storms burned out most of their tech, sounds like Monroy got furious. He demanded explanations from the Pax and access to their powers, but they didn't understand. They offered everything they could. They led Monroy through the jungle to their sacred city. Probably this city, the place we've discovered. All right, I just realized I have some skill points. I'm gonna go in here and uh, or class points. I'm going to throw these in. I think that um, I think that what I want to do is potentially I want to go up here and I want to go over here. And I think that that is going to help me prevent them from hurting me as much.
All right. Pax took him to the Grand Temple, tried to show him how they communed with the anomaly. But Monroy thought it was a ploy to assassinate him. He ordered the executions of the Pax leaders and locked down the temple. Until he could learn how to control it himself. Oh my god. Monroy, he... misunderstood everything the Pax did. Okay. To the... center square, I think is what it said. So I have realized what it is. We actually have, we do have two different areas left. We have this area. Um, and then there's one other and we have on this map, we have a, uh, there are countless cages here. They're filled with skeletons. They look like packs. So on this map, we are going to have a historian area. And then on the next map, we have another historian area, I think. We may even have another map in between. I had wrote down all of the different areas, but I apparently, for some reason, did not write down the, the final area. And I don't understand why I didn't. Because this is Pax City, and I know the name of the last area, and it's not Pax City. So. <laughs> it's just a very weird thing. I literally cannot hold the gun still. I don't know why. It's just really weird how this game is. Um, there's definitely something there, and it looks like there's two quests out there, so. I keep getting the. After they'd executed the Pax leaders, Monroy's hmm. people started moving into the city. This was their colony. They took over the homes of the Pax, forcing them to work for them to serve them in other words they made them slaves they believed the loss of their machinery was the pax's fault doesn't matter what they believe there's no excuse for enslaving another race all right so there are two quests here it looks like i'm gonna go on and pick up ammo and i've completely forgotten what was going on here it
There's traces of powerful energy here. Somebody unleashed this on them. But who? If there's someone else wiping out ferals, I need to know who they are. All right. Sins of our father is one, and then we've got the historian. I tell you what, we're going to go ahead and do the historian quest here, and we'll end after that. And I'm probably going to go to bed and get some sleep. And when I get up, I will probably stream and then record the rest of this series. So I'm excited about finishing this series so I can move on to a few other things. So. All right, we've got historian. You know, I was one of the the first people to say I didn't think that Outriders looked very good. I just didn't think it was my game. And then I'm probably one of the last people still playing it and enjoying it. It's crazy how much I enjoy this. When I really didn't think I would like it at all and it i tell you what it was that i did not like about it was absolutely 100 percent the fact that you cannot jump i actually read an article the other day that was talking about that there was no excuse for a game not to have jumping uh in this day and age and i i fully agree with that 100 percent Okay. So there is one more of these. There's one more side quest that's here. And I think that that is it then. Um, besides, I know of one other side quest. So we're just going to... Uh, let's see here. I think I'm just going to go ahead and I will end right here. And then I will pick up in the next episode... Uh, back out at the the other area. I will see y'all next time. If you like my content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.